Now, Hiroshima has grown into a metropolis where over one million people live. The city's recovery is largely due to the efforts of local residents, and one small vehicle became the symbol of its reconstruction. The manufacturers call it the pride of Hiroshima. Here's a report from Fumio Kanda. This simple three-wheeler is little more than a motorcycle with a small truck bed on top. It was sturdy and easy-to-build style made it affordable. The vehicle became an important means of transport for people and goods. The three-wheel trucks were everywhere around the market. They used to carry fresh produce and they really enlivened the city. Those trucks could carry a lot in one go. That made them such valuable vehicles to have. The three-wheeler was created by a local manufacturer from Hiroshima. The company stands on the far side of a mountain, five kilometers away from the hypercenter of the explosion. The mountain saved it from being destroyed by the atomic bomb. After the war, the city was nothing but burnt out ruins. But the Arto farm was determined to stay in Hiroshima, vying to resume production of the three-wheeler. Hiroshi Masaoka was an engineer at the time. Masaoka says there was a good reason for his company to start up again with a vehicle. This needed to be cleaned up before we could build new homes. But to do that, the wreckage had to be cleared away. This made the three-wheeled truck invaluable. The company had difficulty gearing up for production. It faced a lack of essential materials. For some of these materials, like steel sheeting, they scoured the factory's grounds, ripping off steel from water tanks. One crucial element was still in short supply, tires. Hundreds of vehicles were left idle, unable to move. So staff started combing the country, looking for tires. Tsuneyo Shihayama remembers everyone's efforts trying to make things happen. We needed to find tires to sell them. So we all went across Japan by train. On the way back, we carried the tires on both of our shoulders. Four months after the war, the company is finally able to ship its prize truck. I was proud to see the three wheelers driving through town. When I saw them, I took pride in the engine that I had developed. I was over the moon. In August 1949, the company decided to try exporting the vehicles to the U.S., the wealthiest country and the one that dropped the bomb. This is an original sales brochure from the time. It used the phrase, Pride of Hiroshima. It featured a photo of the three-wheeler parked in front of the atomic bomb dome. Masaoka recalled that it was the proudest moment for not just his company, but for everybody in Hiroshima. We sent a message to the giant automobile companies in the U.S. telling them we are from Hiroshima. We wanted to highlight our strong push toward recovery. Images of the dome continue to be used in all subsequent adverts for new models of the truck. The three-wheeler went on to sell over 800,000 units before production ended in 1974. The vehicle became a potent symbol of local hopes and dreams of recovery. I believe that if the vehicles were on the road and goods were moving, the economy would eventually recover. And I think that's what we helped to do with the three-wheelers. Hiroshima suffered hard, 
It's amazing how it rebuilt itself.